What is up? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to build an Amidian bank. For the build, you'll need the following DLCs. People of the Dragon, Blood and Sand, Riders of Hyboria, Treasures of Turan, and the Isle of Sipta. If you're new to the channel, be sure to stick around until the end where I'll be showcasing the final version of the build. The location I've chosen for the showcase is in 012 on the Isle of Sipta. So with that said, let's get to it. All right, we're going to start off our build. It's going to be a little different this time around. We're going to actually place our ceiling and uh, and pillars first before we place any actual foundation pieces. So give me one second while I actually get this set up, and I'm going to go over kind of the dimensions here once this is actually done. Give me one second here. That goes like that. Yep, that looks right. Kind of quickly go under these just so it has a little bit of support with uh, with some pillar pieces. We're actually going to change that piece out. That was just kind of my uh, my marker for where the build's going to start. So once we have those placed, it's going to be literally kind of like a plus shape. So it's going to be three, 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 and three, and then you got to kind of have uh, you know some some openings here. The reason why we're starting off with this is this build's going to require quite a bit of pillar trick. So we're gonna jump right into it. So with the pillar trick, you're gonna use any kind of staircase except the arena one. And uh, you're gonna place it, you're gonna connect it to a piece that you want to uh, to put a pillar on a corner. So for instance, this uh, this side. So we're gonna connect it to uh, this arena ceiling piece. From here, we're going to put a pillar right on top center of the, uh, the stair piece. I'm gonna connect a ceiling piece to the pillar. And then off to the side, depending on which corner you want your pillar piece, you're going to put a stair piece on that side. So we're going to want to put a pillar here on this corner. So hence why I have the stair piece there. We're then going to connect some pillars right to the new stair piece. We're going to run that straight to the ground. So that's going to give us the ability to actually have a, uh, a pillar on the corner. Hence why, you know, like I said from earlier, we're going to uh, use the ceiling and the, the pillar uh, pieces instead of just regular foundations. Um, from here, we're actually going to run pillars all the way across. Go something like this. We're going to do this for each uh, each side. So I'm just going to kind of build out because this is going to give me the ability to just build pillars where I need them to be, rather than having to do the uh, the pillar trick for for each pillar. And once you do this enough times, you kind of get used to the whole, uh, the whole process. Alright, once all those pillars are placed, we can go back through and we can delete all these, uh, excess ceiling pieces. Alright, I think that looks good, and actually, looks like... We're going to delete these front ones. We don't need those. All right. And then from here... Let's see. We need to place doors here and here. A wall in the middle. We're going to go a wall on these sides. going to wall off the back end too. I think from here, switch over to the stable pieces. Let's go stable fence foundations. We're going to run these along the bottom of the build now. Actually, looks like we're gonna form boxes in these open uh, corner areas. You know, when it comes to these builds, I don't really have a memory, so I have a bunch of reference photos uh, when it comes to actually building these. It looks like it looks like we're gonna place more arena pieces here on uh, on our corners. All right, now from this part. We're going to build up the uh, the pillars, so they're going to be it's like three high. 
So starting from here, we're not counting the ones that are in the ground. So it's going to be one, two, three. We go all the way across. We're going to do this on both sides here. And then the ones up front, looks like those are going to be four high. I want to say the back ones are probably going to be the same. So we're just going to build those up as well. If worse comes to worse, we can always delete them. Alright, that looks right. So now from here, working on the sides, these are actually going to be windows, and we're going to merge some pieces together. So first off, we're going to start by placing uh, the stable fence gate frame pillar pieces. And something you guys might uh, notice right away, I can't place it right in this spot where I want it to place because these pillars are actually too wide. So in order to uh, to allow us to do this, we're going to switch and we're going to we're going to change um, these first arena pillars out to stable pillars just because you know they're a little bit uh, a little bit smaller and that should give us the ability yeah this gives us the ability to place the uh, uh, these stable fence gate frame pillar pieces so once those are placed actually you know what I'm getting ahead of myself let's go around we're just gonna do both sides at the same time let's get those placed here so once those are placed we're gonna come back through using Namidian pieces and it's gonna be the Namidian fence just going to place a row of those on both sides. And then from here, we're going to switch over to... Let's see, wherever storm glass is, there it is. We're going to use the storm glass um, window frames. Now, for whatever reason, it's not allowing me to rotate this piece. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to place a, a door frame first, just all the way across. And then uh, we're going to switch back to the window frame. Because now that the door frame is placed, I can, it allows me to rotate you know, the way that I, I need the window to be. So for this build, we're going to rotate the window to where the outer face is facing inwards. We're going to do that all the way across. And we can't build up again, so we're just going to place some walls here. Do the same thing. Place those walls out with our window pieces. Um, when we get up to the next level, we're actually going to switch to Namidian. But real quick, because I think we're going to have the same problem, we're going to change out these middle pieces as well with stable pillars. That'll give us the ability to place more um, stable fence gate frame with pillar pieces. And then we're going to switch to Namidian, but we're going to go the crenellated wall pieces. Place those across. Now we're going to change out the, uh, the stable pieces with Namidian door frames. We're going to rotate these to where the outer face is facing inwards. And then from here, we'll just go back through and we'll change out the uh, the pillars that we changed. And we're gonna we're gonna do this on the the other side. So I'm gonna kind of quickly throw this together real fast. Let's see here. It's not let me place. Oops. Not let me place the windows the way I need them to be placed. So we'll just place those walls back in there again. This kind of is a good trick to, uh, you know, when it comes to any kind of build. If you can't get a piece to uh, rotate the way that you need it to, just put a different piece on. And then a lot of times you can just replace it with the piece that you need. And it allows you to rotate the, uh, the way that you need it to rotate. These placed real quick. Right. And that looks good. So now that that's done, we're going to take the Namidian wall piece, place it on top. Once again, the uh, outer face facing inwards. And then we're going to use our slope wall pieces. I kind of build up a slope here. Oop. Right, and that looks to do it for those sides. So now for the front, see we're gonna build across, we're gonna go with arena walls right across the front, just like this. And then, right here, right by the front door, we're gonna build up walls on these sides. And actually, you know what, I lied. Looks like we're gonna go the arena windows 
right across the front, just like that. And then from here, we're going to take the arena vaulted ceiling intersection pieces. I'm going to kind of throw those across just like that. And then we're going to be doing more windows, kind of how we have it here. We're going to do more windows right here. So we're just going to do the same exact thing we did on the side. So we're going to change out some of these arena pillars real quick. Go with the stable fence pieces, or the stable fence gate pieces. Uh, let's see. And these are actually going to be, looks like fence pieces here. The Midian fences. That piece doesn't want to rotate. Switched out with the door. Oh, sweet. That allowed us to... Uh, place those for some reason so that'll work all right so now that the windows are done we kind of do the same kind of pattern up above with the Namidian stuff just kind of form our slope walls because this is going to kind of kind of give us an idea of how the roof is going to slant once we uh once we make it that far yeah that looks good so now on the sides we're going to place Namidian walls and just make sure that the uh the outer face is facing inwards. And we're going to place more walls here. Right. And we're going to kind of copy the same thing in the back of the build. The only difference is we're not going to have kind of like this overhang. So we're just going to build this up using the arena wall pieces. Kind of go around here. Let's see. going to build this up. All right, and same thing with the uh, the windows on this end as well. So let's change these out real fast. Place some more Namidian fence pieces and change them out with the uh, storm glass windows. All right, so now those are being difficult. So yeah, we're gonna have to place walls all the way across and change those out with the windows now. Place those pillars. Did I do it on that side? I did. All right. So now let's build up this back end using more Namidian pieces. All right, and just like that. Now, if you guys have access to uh, this piece, it's going to be the stone brick arcane uh, wall rim piece. Um, if you don't have access to it, no big deal. This is just kind of just one additional piece to make the build just pop a little bit better. But I like to throw those, uh, throw th some of these on like right here. Right at the front. And then we'll, we'll throw some more on the back. Just kind of right across just like that. Like I said, if you don't have those pieces, it's, it's not the end of the world. Alright. So from here, these corners, we're going to switch back to Namidian. We're going to use these Namidian awnings. We're going to rotate them where they're kind of slanting this way, kind of away from the front door. I'm going to do that on uh, on both sides. And you know what? I think right here, we're going to change this out to an arena door. It's going to kind of be kind of a back entrance to this build. All right, at this point, we're then going to switch to Terranian. Uh, let's see. There it is. And we're going to use the Terranian stairs. We're going to place a row of them right across the front, just like this. And then we're going to go around the build with these stair pieces. When we get to the corners, we'll add the uh, the corner stair pieces as well. All right, I think that should do it for the bottom of the build. So we're gonna move we're move on the inside now, and we're actually gonna do uh, more pillar trick on the inside. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place some more pillars, you know, in this spot, that spot, and then some more over there. 
So we're just going to place, you know, a stair piece real quick. Just throw a random pillar on top, throw a random ceiling, go another stair piece, and then from here, we're going to build down. We're going to run that all the way through to the ground with the, uh, the arena pillar pieces. Just going to kind of build that over real quick. build this across just so we don't have to do the pillar trick again and we're gonna we're gonna build it right across to where like the ceiling piece is right above this intersection where these four uh, pieces meet do the same thing and delete all the excess stuff all right so now from here we're gonna use the uh, what are these called arena vaulted ceiling intersection pieces and we're gonna place a row here and here. And that'll kind of give a nice vaulted ceiling look for our build anyway. All right, so now we need to get some, we need to have some stairs that leads up to uh, this top floor. So we're gonna switch back to Namidian, uh, the, the Namidian pieces. We're gonna place a stair piece here. Oh, let's see. Go a Namidian ceiling piece there. And we're going to have the stair kind of wrap around like that. That'll work. And then we'll just kind of run this, uh, these wooden ceiling pieces. And, and I'm kind of rotating it to where, like, all the panels face the same way as well. And that'll work. So now from here, let's switch back to, oops, stable. We're going to go wooden support strut. So we're just going to place one there, and we're going to place one there. Right, and then now for up top, we're gonna place some walls here. So I'm gonna place it to where the uh, the walls they're facing kind of this middle point. Do that on both sides here, and then we're gonna have place more walls just like this. Now, from in here, we're going to go the Namidian vaulted ceiling. And we're going to rotate it to where the arch kind of matches with, like, the arch of the door frame. And we're going to do that to uh, all these upper windows. All right. And then now, we're going to place another slope. That's wrong. We're going to make sure that the uh, outer face is facing inwards here. We're going to do that on both sides. All right. So now that all of those are placed, we're going to come back through. We're going to secure, because this is going to be where like our treasure like vault room is going to be. So we're going to secure this a little bit. So let's go... the stable pieces. So we're going to go the lattice door frame. We're then going to go these uh, stable fence gate frame pillar pieces again. We're going to run the stable fence all the way across. Uh-oh. Just screwed that up. There you go. That'll work. Crisis averted. We're going to run another, uh, another set across the top. And same thing. We're going to place another fence piece on top because we're actually going to change these out to uh, um, these lattice walls. But it won't let me place the lattice walls just yet. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to just do lattice door frames again. Once those are all changed out, then we can come back through with the lattice walls. Alright. And then now, let's see. Add a flooring in. Go all the way across again. And I think we're ready for the roof. So from here, it's going to be a simple Numidian roof. And because we got our walls actually, you know, already placed, we got a pretty good idea of how everything's going to slant. So we just got to kind of fill in uh, in this roof with Numidian roof pieces. All 
Right, and once those are placed, we'll come back through these uh, little singular, singular pieces. Just making sure I'm doing this right. Looks right. Alright. Now we're just going to come through. We're going to add our doors. And to give this kind of like a vault look, let's go under the reinforced stone piece. We're going to go with this heavy reinforced door. There we go. Yeah, this is going to be our treasure room where all of our all of our riches are going to be stored. But I think with that placed, do one more look around. But I think that's going to be it. Oh, nope. Missed this side. Right. With those placed, that's going to complete the build.